Well, hi there. It's been a nice, relaxing afternoon for me, and... I thought it was time for more Sanctuary RPG Black Edition. In truth, I've wanted to play more of this game than what I have, and I've been intentionally slowing myself down. So as not to engorge myself. However, I've tempered that today with the thought that I'm actually in the mood to do something. But maybe I should consider doing it, because I won't have this mood forever. Let's look at Madar here. Madar, the level 27 Flamkin Marauder, has just begun Act 2 after a, a drunken battle with the Fallen. Ended up being quite entertaining. A number of you out there have been enjoying this game, either rediscovering it since I went through the freeware version, or learning about it for the first time. And I do think this game is uh, enjoyable for sure. It's um, it, it's a game that you can. So let me structure my thoughts here. Sanctuary RPG Black Edition has opportunities for you to invest in a more active play style. Or you can relax with the game and not be as intense about doing every little single thing that you can. You could ignore the tavern. You could ignore the, the keystone portals. You could not bother so much with the library. You could not bother so much with crafting. Those opportunities are there for you to take a more active role in playing the game, or you could sort of edge out and take a less active role in that pursuit. Uh, the music is uh, a strong element to the game. Uh, there are strategic elements in the various fights and in your character and how you've built your character from customization choices to the equipment that you have. Uh, But you don't have to invest in it that much. Consider how I've played this. This has been my first run of Black Edition. I've kept up reasonably on opportunities open to me, but I haven't been insistent about doing them at every single turn. I've just sort of chosen things for this character that have stuck together and have carried me at least through the first act of the game. Understandably, the game is going to get more challenging. I know because I did go through the freeware version years back. You know, there are... There are greater hurdles for us to overcome, and at some point, Maedar here, haphazardly built as he is, uh, particularly with that lower vitality, will fall. And I'll choose a different character. And I might go into that with a more dedicated goal in mind, but you don't have to. Like, that's... The game offers a bunch of little neat opportunities for you to pick up XP and, like, get goodies. If you want to do that sort of stuff, or you can just cut straight to the charging in the battle and going from there. You know, all these little secret events and items that you can pick up, you could invest yourself and be like a hawk and perceptive about those things, or you could not be. Now, I don't know how the harder difficulty plays. Uh, you may have to keep more on your toes about that, and understandably so. You know, it'd be like stepping up a difficulty level in any sort of game, whether it's Civilization or Diablo. There's a significant jump between Normal and Nightmare and Nightmare and Hell, for example. Anyway, I just felt like talking a bit about game theory and... How folks choose their own playstyles, and there's no inherent problem with that. Familiar figure awaits you outside the city walls. Before we do that, let's sell some beer to people. I don't think I'm gonna drink. Am I going crazy? You are. Restock and open up that gift box. Or we've got a meditative magnipot token, which I will salvage. For some goods. Anything in the library? Neat. Some books that put me to sleep and some which did not. 
We do have a mithril to give to the blacksmith. And he offers us some goodies in exchange. We will scrap that. Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. Will you tell us your real name now? It's still Blacksmith. Just thought I'd check. Still rocking our 15 damage paladin who's eating some of our money. No big deal. Trying to refamiliarize myself with the game. It has been a relaxing day and need to keep on top of everything. Sharpen my senses. I notice whenever I launch this game that the hole that I was digging in, like, its location changes. That's odd to me, but whatever. And I am digging deeper and finding that I am very bored. <laughs> Don't feel like crafting. So let's uh, go outside the city walls. As you come to, you slowly pick yourself up off the ground. Your entire body aches, your ears are ringing, bits of your clothing are smoking and charred, your throat is parched from flash burns. You pick yourself up and look around. You seem to be outside of what was once a great city, now reduced to crumbling concrete and twisted steel. This must be Kaldora, the place the blacksmith was talking about. There are robots everywhere. Most of them are powered off. Others are mindlessly moving back and forth in a fixed pattern, or traveling erratically, bouncing off the walls and other robots. Not taking any chances, you draw your weapon and move carefully towards the city. You really don't want to go through this a second time, but it seems like a familiar figure is blocking the only gate into the city. Prepare to die. Once more into the breach. User runtime error detected. Please stay and fight. A-D-A-M. Adam. I'm still drunk. Oh yeah. I mean, I was at full health, so it's not like I could use a healing charge to dispense with this or try to pass time in some fashion. I guess I could have crafted or something. Oh well, here we are. As long as it takes, so the so the entire room blaze and it is charging directly at me. I had my ultimate, however. I've been cursed. I've been exposed. I've been hyper trampled. I was pressing the wrong key there and perpetually healing myself instead of dealing damage. Whatever. I'm starting to process emotions. Sadness. The terminal crumbles into dust and blows away in the wind. You have a sneaking suspicion this isn't the last you've seen of it. Kaldora is filled with other dangers anyway. It's best if you stay alert and look out for any trouble. Have a soul shard for your efforts, and welcome to Act 2. Item drop, looking forward to that being a suggested thumbnail. If HP is less than 25%, attack is doubled. Well, get out of my life. Now it's up to us to explore the mechanical city Kaldor. Actually, we did use a healing charge this level. Well, that would get rid of our drunkenness. I guess it's only just the passage of time that does that. Hmm. Lamentable. Garbunzo! Coliseum man? A silver key for our troubles. And you want another one. Uh, bounty? One more enemy. An unstable cursing ambusher has bitten your left knee. Why don't we use Blood Pack? I've been poisoned. I'll heal that up. We'll freeze him. Break that guard. It's nice to see my abilities again. That's pretty fun. Oof. So many bleed stacks. 
Oh, I've been cursed again. Oh, no. Expose 7, bleed 5, bleed 40. <laughs> We've done so much. Horrifically stabbed, I've been cursed, I'm about to get punched in the face. I'm done with you. Maybe we can have a level up thumbnail for this video. We'll see. Of course, as I have been doing, with all my points up till now. Fact. Any new books? No. That's okay. An opportune, shielding, empowered crasher has trampled you with its legs. Enemies are mini-bosses and tougher to kill. So be it. Enraged. Preparing to charge? Let's freeze him. Winding up? We'll get out of the way of that. Reposition for a bone crush and then a mending gash. Winding up again? Crushing blow. The big cursed and trampled. Well, you're dead. How about that? Think about that, asshole? That's what I thought. Good news pamphlet. The Great One is undetectable. We cannot perform scientific laboratory experiments to determine if he exists, but this does not mean we must accept blind faith without evidence. He has claimed to be one with the divinity. His life can be examined like any other historical fact. Likewise, many other claims can be investigated by evidence from logic, history, geography, and archaeology. However, there is only one true explanation. The Great One created the world. It is from he that all life formed. He is the beginning and the end. Do I agree with the pamphlet? I do not. Your standing with the resistance has increased. I think the, the words of the fallen gave doubt to to this character, this to, to Madar, yes. Gave doubt, filled his brain with confusion. You know, although it's not exactly as if the Brotherhood has been advertising to him during this particular mission, the Brotherhood has been saying many things for all of Madar's life. Perhaps there's something to that. We can burn this pamphlet. Yes. We're now siding with the Resistance. Uh, I could have chosen to side with the Brotherhood to get a 20% damage increase to my uh, my sledgehammer. A neutral perky mood today. I prayed. Let's burn a pamphlet. A small charm emerges from it. Neat. We'll turn into scrap. the Brotherhood? How long have you been a cultist? Are you lying? Alright, good talk. 23 years isn't that long. Come on. Come on. Yeah, no, still don't feel like crafting. Let's go, go gain a level from this Doomcaster here. Starts off with some bleed stacks. No chance. A shrouded, obstinate pincer has taken a bite. It has hidden its HP. Obstinate heals themselves while guarding. So be it. 
it's winding up? Forget you. Oh, well, I froze it. Well, it should still say frozen then, right? Not really, I guess. No, damn it, you're frozen. Stay that way. Be good. Think about your life choices. I don't think so, champ. Get out of my face. Dismissed. I don't want to lose the strength. <laughs> These are some mountains. <laughs> Let's... Oh yeah, my bounty. Forgot. 16 enemies next. Buy some of that. Um, Maybe I'll upgrade the tavern. Read some books. I think what I'm really gonna do here, though, is go to the blacksmith and uh, consider premium items. Oh, first, activate that mission for two. <laughs> no, our range damage is reduced by 25% due to our barbarian nature. Bro. Blade was cursed anyway. A battle staff. Not for us. And a Pardag. Now this is a tempting item. It is, it is. It costs almost all of my gold, though. And I lose my mastery on top of that for that reason. For those reasons, rather. I don't think that's worth doing. We'll uh, turn in some scrap, though. Mmm, no. We got two scrap metal back from it anyway, so... That was interesting. Rolls higher damage. Neat. It's reinforced. Uh-uh. And finally... Garbage. Great. Now you look. Looking good? Looking good? Dun dun dun! How are you? Oh. Unstrong the Paladin. With 34 damage? Yeah. 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 We're gonna make some room. We're gonna dismiss all these others. Unstrong here is for us. I ended up not spending my gold. Oh well. Crusher is directly in front of you. It's swift and can dodge stuns. It's accelerating at us. It's freezing. Grapple and toss Crusher. Oh no! Goodbye. Why don't we... Thinking about trying to save my money for, like, an upgraded, uh... Crafting hammer? I don't think so, though. Let's have ourselves a lovely little ale house. Yes. A house of ale. The house that ale built. <laughs> uh... Do another exploration or two. Immune, gigantic... Ironclad. He's a impervious to flankers. A, impervious to ultimates, excuse me. He's gigantic, which deals major damage to you often. He's ironclad, which takes 50% reduced damage from attacks. This guy's a dick. Ultimately, my combo here is irrelevant. I'm considering using my Guardian.
I cleared out all of my combo, which ultimately doesn't matter. Let's take care of this guy the old-fashioned way. Like that. Gain a level for our troubles. Mana Embrace plus Mana Expunge. Whether you're hugging or vomiting mana, it'll make your enemies weak. Ranked matchmaking has been unlocked for your competitive pleasure. Proceed through to the other side of Kaldora. I do believe we shall save that for next time. Until then.